Izanagi is a complex jutsu introduced in the later half of Shippuden when Danzo fought Sasuke. It's a genjutsu where the user uses the genjutsu on himself, allowing you to shape your own existence. Essentially, the genjutsu makes you immortal. We can see in the Danzo vs Sasuke fight that Danzo got hit by several fatal attacks and essentially he disappeared and appeared elsewhere because he had Izanagi activated. When Conan opened the ocean into the this sea of paper bombs and Obito was going to die there, they were going to explode all around him, Kamui was not gonna help him, but he used Izanagi, making himself immune to that and immortal for that time, he then snuck upon behind Conan and killed her. We know that in order to perform Izanagi, you must have a Sharingan and by extent Uchiha Chakra, but you also need Senju Chakra. Mixing them two together mimics the power of the Sage of Six Baths, the power to create and the power to shape reality to your own accord. And that's the secret of the jutsu. It's a very powerful jutsu. The Sharingan that casts Izanagi is blinded forever. It loses its light because it's just so much power. But there is a main misconception about Izanagi. Before we get to it, please subscribe to this channel and like this video to help me out. And if you enjoy content like this, make sure you receive it in the future by notifying. Ring the notification bell. Come on, let's go. Thanks. What I just described is essentially how the jutsu works, and most people get how the jutsu works. They know that the jutsu makes you immune to mostly any attack, and it also costs the eye. But a lot of people misunderstand how long Izanagi remains activated. Now, if you'd ask most people, they would probably tell you that you activate Izanagi, you get hit by a mortal attack, and then you reappear, unharmed elsewhere, just like Danzo did a lot of times against Sasuke. And then then after you reappear, your eye that you cast Izanagi from would close, getting blind, losing its light. But that is not how the jutsu actually works, no. Izanagi stays activated regardless of whatever happens during a set amount of time. And during that time, you are immortal. And this is very much shown in the fight between Sasuke and Danzo. Danzo's Izanagi limit is one minute per Sharingan. We can see that very clearly when Karin counts up to 60 while she is watching Danzo's eyes. When she gets to 60, one of the Sharingans in Danzo's arm closes, meaning that it lost its light. The minute expired and Izanagi is no longer activated for that Sharingan. In theory, you could get killed 20 times during that minute and you would be fine because Izanagi is still activated. Danzo obviously mitigated that time limit by implanting 10 Sharingans in his arm. This is also corroborated when Danzo said, okay, I have to bet everything on this next minute when he was about to summon his giant elephant. He said that because he wanted to finish the fight before that particular Sharingan closed and he had to begin using the next Sharingan in line because he doesn't have infinite Sharingans, he doesn't have infinite time to keep Izanagi activated. And that's also another reason why Danzo deactivated Izanagi when he paralyzed Sasuke with that ceiling jutsu. And while Izanagi was deactivated, activated, Danzo could be killed, and that's the reason why he had to use that very costly wood style when Sasuke shot that arrow when Izanagi wasn't activated, because he would have been killed by the arrow otherwise. And of course, deactivating Izanagi while Danzo thought the fight was under control was a very smart idea because it's a very scarce resource for him. As he has 10 Sharingans implanted in his arm, he is able to maintain Izanagi for much longer. We also know Danzo's Izanagi is imperfect perfect as stated by Obito. Danzo didn't have full control of his Izanagi because he couldn't really master the control over Hashirama's chakra which is very powerful and difficult to control. Obito on the other hand said that he achieved the perfect Izanagi which is also probably true because his Izanagi lasted at least for 10 minutes which was the time Conan's explosions went off non-stop. Still Obito would only use Izanagi if he had one Sharingan eye that was really a spare, not his main Kamui eye of course because that's way too important. And when he got the Rinnegan he would of course not use that for the Izanagi either. You could say that Danzo's battle strategy revolved completely around Izanagi when he fights stronger opponents, while for most Uchiha
he has. Izanagi would be more of a last resort technique only when you're about to get killed, because otherwise you're just wasting your eye. Unless you have a supply of Sharingans like Danzo did because of the Uchiha massacre. Also, you have to activate Izanagi before you suffer a fatal blow, otherwise it's completely useless. It's not like you can get hit by something very powerful and then Izanagi. No, that's not gonna work. You're still gonna be wounded by that. And we can see that's the case when Danzo used the wood style to block the arrow. And he only had to do that because he was too slow to weave the Izanagi hand signs before Sasuke's Susano arrow hit him. And to think about it, Danzo's hand sign technique is kind of bad, I think. I don't know. Danzo, for instance, kept track of his Izanagi by looking at his arm and looking at how many Sharingans were still open, so he knew how much time he had left to keep the jutsu activated. That was his biggest mistake in that fight because that's how Sasuke beat him. Sasuke cast a genjutsu on Danzo to make it seem one of his eyes was still opened while it actually wasn't, so Danzo thought, oh okay, I still have Izanagi, I'm immortal, I'm gonna attack Sasuke. He does so, Sasuke hits him and his Izanagi doesn't really work because it had already expired. If Izanagi was a one hit and done technique, then this wouldn't really matter because it would be activated until Danzo got hit. But the technique has a time limit. Within the time limit, the technique itself is limitless in the amount of times you can get saved from fatal attacks. That's why Sasuke was able to beat Danzo that way. A lot of people may also ask, but why didn't Danzo use Izanagi from Shisui's eye? He still had that eye and sure he wanted to use Kuro Matsukami on Obito after the fight against Sasuke, but wasn't it better to at least survive the fight using Izanagi with Shisui's eye? Danzo did not use Izanagi on Shisui's eye because that wasn't a disposable Sharingan, so he didn't program Shisui's Mangekyu to be used for his Izanagi while he is fighting. That's just his base tactic, where he used the disposable Sharingan in his arm. When he clashed his sword against Sasuke and got very badly wounded, mortally wounded you could say, he thought Izanagi was still active because of Sasuke's Genjutsu, so he didn't even think about, oh, I'm gonna use Izanagi on Shisui's eye because I don't have Izanagi anymore. No, he thought he had Izanagi up. He only realized he didn't have it when he got hit by Sasuke's sword. And as he didn't have Izanagi activated at that time, it didn't matter if he used Izanagi with Shisui's eye because the wound was already there. It cannot be changed even if you cast Izanagi after it. It could mitigate the wound Danzo suffered when he captured Karin and Sasuke just pierced both of them with a Chidori if he used Izanagi before that, but the initial wound he suffered with the lightning sword would not be mitigated. We can also see that's the case when Obito used Izanagi against Conan. Before the sea of paper bombs, Conan was able to explode one of Obito's arms off. And then she used the sea of paper bombs. Obito fell down, then he used Izanagi. But when he came back, he still didn't have one of his arms because he lost that arm before he activated Izanagi. And that's essentially how the jutsu works. Do you like Izanagi? Comment below, like this video and subscribe if you enjoyed it if you learned something you didn't know, and thanks for watching.